Good evening. I'm hardly reasonable. And I'm Mike Walrus, and this is Tell the People. It was just over a month ago that Hiram Grayson, president of the Valiant Tobacco Company, made the incredible offer of $25 million to any town in America that could stop smoking for 30 days. Surprisingly, the other tobacco companies were enthusiastic about this offer. David Chetley, talk to the president of United Tobacco. The Valiant Tobacco Company's cold turkey project is in its 11th day. How do you feel about it now? I told you to leave me the f alone. David Chetley, Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> Hiram Grayson's offer wasn't as irresponsible as some people thought, however. For a whole family to quit smoking is fairly common. Even a neighborhood might get together and agree to stop. But the thought that an entire town would sign a pledge to kick the habit, even for $25 million, staggers the imagination. Still, one American town, Eagle Rock, Iowa, has done just that. Every smoker has agreed to quit, or they've left town. Our camera crews have That's been That's my line. Uh, sorry, Mike. Our camera crews have been in Eagle Rock since the beginning of the experiment, which they call Project Cold Turkey. The Eagle Rockians are typical small-town Americans with an unusual amount of community pride, which has helped them to stand the strain of sudden and complete withdrawal from tobacco. Project Cold Turkey is now 29 days old, and the excitement is mounting. Correspondent Walter Kranick got to go to Eagle Rock to be in on the finish. David Chetley got to go, too. I could have gone, too, if I wanted to. I just didn't want to. With only one day left, a number of questions still remain unanswered. Can the smokers of Eagle Rock remain true to their pledge? I, I had five gherkins before I decided to wrap them in salami. <laughs> And then there's my second carrot. That's two carrots, six slices of salami, 11 gherkins, and I haven't counted a cheese, and it isn't even seven o'clock yet! Will Project Cold Turkey be made an example by the American Medical Association? This is how No! You may come at your own risk. And I'm gonna take that cigarette away from you. But I've never, I've never operated without having a cigarette first. For God's sakes, let him smoke! And finally, is there a plot afoot to sabotage the project? But he's a communist! Look at them cigarettes! This, uh, this car's a rental. Sure, and I'm an unwed mother. Only the next 24 hours will answer these questions. This is Mike Walrus. And I'm hardly reasonable. Good night. Oh, the big clock is wrong! No! No, no! The big, big clock's never wrong! Uh, what do you say we fly out to Eagle Rock, Hardly, and see how it all turns out? No, Mike, I think I'll wait until the picture comes to this theater. <laughs>